Yeah, a breezy day along the beach. Remember, we had that front come through, and that tends to stir up the waves as well. We've got some rain with a cold front. Showers moving through the area right now. Heavy downpours, but I've been watching this line. No thunder and lightning with it, and we don't anticipate any severe weather, but another round of rain, heavy downpours. This makes eight out of the last nine days where we've had measurable rain in our area. You guys getting some heavy downpours right now in Roxborough and Person County up by the Virginia border. There's the Virginia line. There's Card Lake. In Mecklenburg County, South Hill about ready to get some rain, just finishing up with some rain in Clarksville. Bigger picture shows that this rain is going to sweep through for about half of us, and it's not going to last all night. It'll be a quick hit of heavy rain, and it'll be out of here, and we've got some great weather coming Friday and Saturday. Outside right now, temperatures in the 70s. Some of us did make it into the 80s today, but yet another June day where we're not in the 90s and we're below average. This has been quite an unusual June. We're used to about a dozen 90s at this point, and we're not even a dozen days into the month. So little different this year round. So there's the front coming through later tonight. Out ahead of it, we'll have a few showers, some heavy downpours, and then our skies will clear out. We'll dry things out for a few days. We're actually going to shut the radar off for a few days, thankfully. We'll go from 74 at 8 down through the 60s tonight. And look at this. You're out the door tomorrow morning. Friday morning's trip to work and school, 55 degrees, all thanks to this cold front that's going to move through later tonight. So out ahead of it, it was a little warmer today. We had some clouds, we had breezy conditions, we had some rain, but behind it, we have high pressure. That high pressure is going to take control Friday and Saturday, going to clear the atmosphere out, lower the humidity, lower the temperatures, we'll have sunny skies, we'll have dry afternoons, but it is going to be kind of cool for this time of year in the morning. Then things start to go back to the way they usually are on Sunday for Father's Day. So that same area of high pressure that helped to cool us down will shift offshore. Our winds come more out of the south, and that'll begin to warm us well into the 80s. It's also going to start to be a little more muggy. I think you're going to be able to feel it, and we'll start to complain about it by next week. I'm talking Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. The high's far enough away where we'll have some extra clouds, we'll have some afternoon storms, but we still have that southerly flow, so we're still going to add to the temperatures. We'll get close to 90, and we're going to add to the humidity, so you won't walk outside and feel refreshed. You'll walk outside and feel other things. But here's what we've got tomorrow. Plenty of sunshine. Again, a cool morning. Get ready for that. And then the afternoon highs will be anywhere from 81 in Fayetteville to 78 in Harnett County. You guys in Johnston County, 79 in Smithfield, 80 degrees in Benson, about 78 for a high tomorrow in Wilson. We'll keep it in the upper 70s here in the Triangle, very similar to what we had today, just with a lot of sunshine and no rain, and we'll top out about 77 along the Virginia border. But it's not only cooler temperatures, it's also lower humidity. So the dew point temperature today was about 63. So it wasn't hot today. So you probably didn't notice that it was a little muggy outside, but after the front, we are going to take a dip down into the pleasant zone and the comfort index before we slowly start to rise back to regular June humidity by next week. So enjoy the next couple of days because it may be the most comfortable weather we have for the next couple of months. So a high of 78 tomorrow warms to 82 Saturday, close to 90 Sunday for Father's Day, and then we've got some 90s on the seven day finally. We've only had one so far this month. We'll be right around 90 with some afternoon storms Monday, Tuesday, with upper 80s by Wednesday and Thursday. I don't know about y'all, but I like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday's weather uh, before the 90s return. Looks good. Oh, yeah, we'll yeah. definitely take that.